Hey guys, welcome to Handmade Home. From today, my book Furniture Hacks is in store in America, Australia, Canada and in the UK. And to celebrate this, especially for you Handmade Home viewers, I've got a tutorial from the book. I'm going to show you how you can turn this massive stack of magazines into something useful for your home. So you need a whole stack of magazines and do this as high as you want your table to be. Mine is going to be 30 centimeters. You need a spare piece of MDF and this is going to be the base of your table. And we're going to make this the same size as the biggest magazine you're going to use. Mine is a Vogue and a Vogue is 29 centimeters long and 22 centimeters wide. Place your magazine on top of the wood and trace. Now cut this to size. Send away any of the rough edges. Now paint the underneath and the sides of your board. Don't worry too much about the top because we're going to cover that with magazines anyway. I'm going to paint mine in any Sloan chalk paint in Paris Grey. Let the paint dry. Now the paint is dry, it's time for the swivel wheels. Place the swivel wheel one centimeter from either edge and mark with a pencil where the little holes are. Now we're gonna pre-drill these holes and screw in place. Now all four wheels are in place, it's time to start stacking. I chose magazines that just have a white binding for a more uniform look but you can use whatever you like. Start by placing your biggest magazines on the base. Stack six or seven magazines this way, and just to make sure it stays nice and stable, stack one or two magazines the other way around. And then again, six magazines this way, so the binds line up nicely. So we keep on stacking and just make sure you stack in a nice, straight and even way. You want to make sure the top of your stack is a really nice cover or maybe even a page turn out of a magazine because this is what you're going to see the whole time. I'm going to choose this cover of the simple things because I really like the layout. So this is going to be my top. To top my stack of magazines I'm going to use a piece of glass that's actually from a photo frame. Go to a charity shop or a thrift store and look for a photo frame which is exactly the same size as your magazines. And we're going to place this on top. Because the glass got sharp edges, this isn't a very child friendly craft. So be careful when you use this around children. So now we're going to use our binding twine to keep everything nice and together. So we've got underneath the table with a long length of twine. And we're just going to wrap it around bit twice a couple of times. Then you're going to simply knot it in place. Do this as well here and here. What I like to do for extra stability is where you cut off your yarn, you're going to wrap it around the bindings and you're going to knot it in place again. Just make sure the bindings, the three bits of wrapping stay close together. Then we want to wrap the twine lengthways as well, here and here. Do it exactly the same way, we're going to wrap it around a couple of times and then tie it in place. We're going to go underneath the table and then we're going to go under, over and under the other bindings. We're going to wrap underneath the table again, we need long arms for this. And on the way back, we're going to do the other way around. So we're going to go over where we went under, under where we went over, and over again here. And we're going to tie it in place. On the opposite side of where the knots are, we're going to do sort of the same secure thing. So we're just going to wrap a bit of off cut around the two wraps, and we're going to double knot it in place. Now we're going to do the same on this table, and you're done. If you enjoyed making this magazine stool, why not buy Furniture Hacks, my new book available from today worldwide and on Amazon. It's got 34 other furniture hacking and upcycling projects in it for your home. Please subscribe to my channel not to miss out on any of the tutorials I post every Thursday here on Handmade Home.